As much of military tanks are huge and scary on land, fighter jets are way more fearsome on the air and even on the battlefield. Since the dawn of war, fighter jets have evolved to become war machines that have changed the trajectory of world conflict. From the F-4F Wildcat, used by the U.S. Army and Navy in World War II, to the MQ-9 Reaper, used by Ukraine in the Russo-Ukrainian War, fighter jets have changed the game, and the seventh-generation fighter jet will further take aircraft innovation to a whole new level. The United States Air Force's ATF program is responsible for the development, trials, and release of fighter jets for their country. The jets in question are said to be advanced in generational designations with enhanced capabilities, further increasing their characteristics with every succeeding generation. But did you know that we are almost at the seventh generation? Before we fly right into it, do me a favor and drop a bomb on the like and subscribe button and let me know your thoughts on the seventh generation fighter jet. Now let's get started. As of the moment, the United States Air Force has a series of six generations of fighter jets. Each succeeding one is deemed better than the last. You might ask how each one was superior to its predecessor. Let's break it down and see firsthand. The first generation jets were created based on jet propulsion or the backward ejection of gas or liquid at a high speed. Of course, they took pride in being the first released. The second generation were enhanced with swept wings or a wing that angles backward or forward from its root rather than a wing that's sideways in direction. Second generation jets also had range-finding radar and infrared guided missiles that stayed in service for almost 10 years. The highly enhanced third generation were built with supersonic flight, pulse radar, and missiles that can engage opponents from beyond visual range and the developed fourth generation focuses on its high levels of agility, some degree of sensor fusion, pulse Doppler radar, reduced radar signature, fly-by-wire, look-down, shoot-down missiles, and more. Although greater than the first three, the fourth generation aircraft has faced complications after being enhanced continuously. It even came to a point of having that even the fifth generation possesses some of it. By 2005, the fifth generation was released in service. It is something that they are most proud of because of its stealth, low probability of intercept radar, LPIR, agile airframes with supercruise performance, advanced avionics features, and highly integrated computer systems that are capable in working with other elements alongside the battle focusing on situational awareness in C3, command, control, and communications capabilities. One of the fifth generation jets, and the best example at that too, is the F-35 fighter jet. This is even dubbed as a flying computer because of its software that has 7 million lines of code in the aircraft alone, and another 7 million lines of code in the supporting ground system and that is more enhanced than any other combat aircraft. With its highly advanced features, the F-35 is expected to remain in service until the 2070s. The sixth generation jets are actually still in process. First world countries such as the United States, Japan, Russia, the United Kingdom, Sweden, Italy, France, Germany, Spain, China, alongside India, are all involved in the process of the production of a sixth generation fighter. This is believed to enter service by the middle to late 2030s, as these are still under development. The final characteristics of a sixth generation fighter are still unknown to the masses, but it is believed to generally include an enhanced human system integration that has a helmet mounted display with a 360 degree vision, artificial intelligence, enhanced battlefield awareness, advanced stealth airframes, an increased visual for artillery and weaponry, and advanced digital capabilities that could further feature AI. 
data fusion, cyber warfare, and data-to-data -data capability. But rumors are already swirling about the most awaited fighter jet, and that's the seventh generation. Although the sixth generation is still in the process of being made, there has already been talks and actions regarding its successor. Russia has even made news in 2016 with the reports that they are already in the process of having the seventh generation. But what can we expect from the unprecedented seventh generation aircraft? The seventh generation will most likely change the dynamics further and have a better edge than any other fighter jet made. The aircraft will have an autonomous control or maybe even have a human controller on the ground that is far from battle. This allows lower casualties, but still with an advanced battle tactic. The possibility of it being capable of hypersonic flight has also come to speculation because of its enhanced stealth. It is also believed to have a series of drones launched to deal with air defenses, as well as capabilities to strike enemy targets at various angles all at once. That alone is already making it sound like something straight out of a fiction movie. With that, people have also been curious as to how it will look. No one knows for sure, but with the metaverse, 3D metal printing, and the capability of realistic simulation, the process of creating aircrafts, such as a fighter jet, are shortened. This allows the seventh generation to prove that it's different and more advanced than anything that has gone before it. While the other generations took years in process, the seventh generation is assumed to be created within just months. With its autonomous technology, the concept of having a human digital twin further opens opportunities for the future next generation fighters. As it is true that the technology is rapidly increasing, some oppose the idea of the seventh generation creation process being shortened. Although we do have the technology, the cost is the biggest question mark left to us. Thinking of an autonomous aircraft with highly advanced programs, it is no doubt the seventh generation will be the most expensive one yet. Ethical, moral, and even legal issues are also being speculated because the seventh generation may cause destruction that the world has never seen before. This aircraft will most likely be unmanned, which adds to the debate if the future of war will be heavily reliant on drones and drone technology. The gap from generation to generation fighter jet has progressively shortened because of the advancement of complex technology. The lower cost of development, manufacturers, and countries working together and streamlined operations. Typically, nations prefer to continue using existing aircraft until their capacity is reached before upgrading to a more cost-effective model. With that being said, the seventh generation is expected to enter the battle space by the 2070s, or even later, as the other generations are still in development. So it'll take some time, but it won't be a surprise if the next generation gets released sooner rather than later, because the threat of war from the outside may be getting closer than ever. Do you think the seventh generation will be the greatest weapon of its generation? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on your notification bell to stay updated with content like this. Until next time.